Today we're going to go from an architectural PDF like this or this and do a bracing design just by clicking on the panels and we're going to get both directions working and both levels working straight from PDF. Okay, so I'm starting off, I've just loaded a PDF and I'm just going to simply draw around the outline of the framing that I want. And that includes this little projection for the garage underneath, which you'll see in the 3D view. I'm going to add a void and an update that we've done is outline over, which you can snap to the framing level. So that is defining the amount of room in the upper floor and obviously doesn't include this cutout, which is the garage below. Now another update <clears throat> to do with the bracing is the walls under and over. So if I wanted to add a wall over, I just draw it. S same with walls under, I just simply trace over them. In the video, I'll probably fast forward this. It doesn't take too long, but we'll get into the design part faster. Okay, now I've finished that. So we'll go into the design. So it will obviously do your structural framing plan all automated. So there you have, if I toggle the walls off actually, you can see that's your structural framing plan as before. All your beams and joists and everything ready to go. And again, you can, you can obviously move the columns, just drag and drop. Um, can change the spans and the materials etc back to the walls and the bracing so the walls come in looking like that and that that color represents no brace in those walls at the moment so to check the bracing and it puts some defaults in you just say bracing check and it puts some default walls in so what are we looking at here so <clears throat> Um, as I said, the bluish color is a wall that doesn't have a brace nominate on it, on it yet. The green is it's working easily. Orange is it's working or any shade of orange or yellow. It's working sort of mediumly hard. If it's dark red like this one, that's a fail. So we need more. And the arrows, which we don't have any here, uh, highlight where there's no bracing at all and it needs some in that region. You'll also notice this little panel here, it's too small. Uh, if it's less than 600, the code says it has very little um, capacity. So they're discounted um, in this current design and that can all be um, changed with the parameters. So all we need to do if we want to add some bracing, for example, this front elevation is not working. So you can see direction two, it's all working with default. And the default is that it puts panels on the corners. So on the four corners, you'll see two panels per level, one in each direction. And that's the default, if it can do it. So this front area isn't working. I should say this direction here is working fine already with default. Um, the front, uh, this direction is not working top and bottom. So let's try and get level one working. So all we do is if we mouse over, hold shift and click, it will go orange. And then you just do a bracing check again. And it's still saying you need more. So let's add another wall in. And you can see it's working only just. So that's that part working, but you've still got this rear elevation that it isn't working. So let's add this one and this one. 
So now that works. So the top floor is working, bracing, working. You can obviously change these around. You don't have to have them in the corner, although it's recommended. I could turn this one off and this one on, for example. That'll probably still work. Yeah, that still works. So we've still got to do the bottom floor. I'll just do this panel and this panel, say. Um, and I'll also do this panel and that one and that one, say. Okay, so this area is a bit tricky. Let's try this one extra. Ah, oh, there we go. It just gets it to work there. So as you would expect, you, and the front's still not working. As you would expect, um, the bottom floor needs more bracing. <laughs> so makes sense. Okay, so yeah, that works. <clears throat> so we've just added enough panels, braced wall panels in to get everything working, both levels in both directions. And then if we go back to the design, you'll see that those you've got your timber floor framing done and you've got your walls and the braced panels are highlighted in orange there. And we'll add that to the engineering drawings as well soon. So that's the basis of the tool. It's still early stages. We're updating all the time on this. So stay tuned for further updates on that front. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.